Monte Carlo was the first city I visited on business. Because Monte Carlo was already taken and I picked Monaco because it sounds nice, it sounds noble, it sounds, let's say, expensive, but that's about it. I didn't think much further. My property master called up from Hollywood and said, Jack, I need a lot of stopwatches because I was chosen as property master for the film Le Mans. So then I started putting things together. We had no watches, uh, or self-winding chronographs because they were all sold out. We could only give them the Monaco because it was selling badly and we had stock. It became a must and that's Steve McQueen who made it, right? We must agree. Actually, I'm very surprised. But I must say, I would have never thought, believed in my life, that uh, 50 years later, I would be, the Monaco would be such a key watch. This is a strong one. This I sort of like. If I had the pleasure of having uh, several watches, I would wear this. And normally, if I would have wear it the whole time, I would take this one. You see, you see, notice it, the color, huh? Chic. With the tie. <laughs>